What's up guys and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Soft Body Experiments. Last time we tried this we experimented with all kinds of different materials to see what we can learn from soft body physics in Scrap Mechanic. And you guys left such amazing suggestions down in the comments below for new experiments for us to try. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be trying new experiments for soft body physics starting with... This net. This is a, a lot of pipe pieces, a lot of plus pipe pieces, all separated by a single bearing. We're on physics setting one. It's not really different from any other flex sheet. Uh, really, just like in the last video, we saw that a lot of them behave really the same. Uh, but this suggestion is more about the netting and what this actually does to a target that we're trying to capture. Let's do something like this. We're gonna, oh. Oh, that just kind of froze in place. It doesn't... Oh, there we go, there we go. Now it updated. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and uh, lift this up. We're going to position ourselves just underneath. How do I How do I do that? How do I do that again? I don't know. This, this looks relatively like the middle right here. Really, we don't even need to be in the middle. Not me. Uh, we're going to be capturing a bot. Here we go. All right, so there is our farm bot buddy there in the middle. Let's go ahead and remove this. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> so there's the net. Um, capturing the bot. Uh, I can't really build a net too much bigger, or else my game's just gonna lag horribly. So let's just go with this and hope for the best. <laughs> Caught the farm bot. Red-handed. Uh-oh. 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 It escaped. Oh! No! <laughs> no! All right, so the net idea doesn't really work too well. Maybe let's try a smaller bot. Maybe that'll work. All right, blue tape bot this time. I think the net is definitely big enough to handle this guy, so let's go ahead and detach this. Oh, oh, still got a wood cube there. And let's open up that capsule and see what happens. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try one more, just with a walk, and see what happens. There's the walk. All right, instantly crushed. So it seems like this net is too heavy for anything that's too small, and the big bot's just too big for the size of this net. Well, I gotta say, a net was an excellent suggestion. It just doesn't seem all that possible to run in the game's scrap mechanic. Uh, your game's just gonna lag too much, and everything else just gets crushed under the weight of the net. So, on to the next experiment! Now this next experiment, I feel like I should have actually realized this last video, because we were trying all different kinds of block materials. Uh, but this is one block material that I haven't actually tried. Let's see how it works. We're doing the bubble block. Here we go, this is a flex sheet made out of the bubble block, 16 by 16. This block is buoyant, so it's gonna float in water. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna stand right on top of it. Here we go. Beep. Oh, oh, okay, just went up without me. <laughs> just flopping around, flopping around like a fish. Okay, can I, can I, can I, can I get on? Can I get on, please? There we go. So it seems to settle down when I get on top of it. I'm not exactly sure what else to do with this. I do have a heavy block, so let's go ahead and put some right in the middle and see what happens. Yep. Just sort of sags down. Hey, I can get that funnel shape that I did before. Much easier than last time. Let's go with the ridiculously heavy and see if that does any better. Yep, yep, it's, uh, it's sinking, it's gone. <laughs> Completely folded in on itself. Delete. And there it is, flopping around on the surface again. That is strange, that is strange. So this thing stays bouncing repeatedly on the water surface forever until I stand on it and then it settles down. But it must be because it wasn't spawned at the water level. 
I, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Let's try this. Let's try this for real quick, real quick. So right at the water level, release. And it pretty much acts like a giant solid piece. Wait a second. What's going on? Why is it getting higher and higher? What's going on with this? This doesn't happen with just a regular thing of bubble block, does it? Yeah, would you look at that? So a regular sheet of bubble block, 16 by 16, doesn't have this weird bouncing effect. So there's something about the individual bubble blocks that somehow combine a buoyancy force to get a greater, what the heck is going on with this? Let's start one underwater to see what happens. So it's, it's bouncing. What the heck, dude? <laughs> the strange part is they're bouncing at like a different frequency too. You see, sometimes they match up, but then the one on the left for whatever reason is a slower bounce. What's going on with this? How are you not bouncing and you are? So if I hop on this one, is anything special gonna happen? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? How did you do this? Why are you even floating like this? This doesn't make any sense. Physics? F excuse me. I'm, I'm just completely blown away. What is Scrap Mechanic doing? If I stand on this, are you gonna settle down? Are you gonna settle down? Settle down, settle down for me. What the heck, dude? Okay, so then if I jump onto this flex sheet over here, this one's gonna settle down. Right, because it has the flop to be able to settle down. It has the flop to disperse all the forces, the buoyancy forces that are happening on it. So eventually, there we go, eventually we just get the corners flopping and it's settled down. That is weird. So there's something about individual bubble blocks when combined together they have a greater buoyancy force, but then why is this one still bouncing? The only difference is this one started at water level and this one started underneath water level. I have no idea what to make of any of that. Let's just go ahead and move on to the next experiment. Okay, so this experiment is, what if you had a big old flex sheet with a gimbal hovering thruster in the middle? So this hovering thruster, if you haven't seen the video, is supposed to make this entire thing float like anti-gravity. Except the anti-gravity in this game actually applies to the entire creation, whereas this gimbal thruster will only have an upwards force in the center of the flex sheet. So the rest of the flex sheet still has gravity applied, but the gimbal thruster is going to be pulling upwards to be able to lift the entire thing. So let's see what happens. First, we're going to start this off fully extending the lift to make sure this thing doesn't hit the ground at all. I hope. And let's see what happens. Oh, 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 got the corners fighting. Got the corners fighting each other. What's happening? <laughs> it seems to be floating in place perfectly well. Folded itself into a taco, I think we're good. All right, well, let's shoot. Nothing really happening. Nothing really happening. Okay, let's maybe turn it off. And <laughs> and then uh, turn it on from down here. Oh, oh. Why is it spiraling around like that? Weird. How did it get a spiraling motion? Huh, well that's kind of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can ride this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Get back here, you. Get back here. Get, get, get back here. Try again. There we go, there we go, there we go. No! It just doesn't let me on. Let's try standing here. All right, all right, all right. I'm still on, I'm still on. Don't. Oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> For some reason, it's very hard to stay on that. And there it is, spiraling upwards again. All right, well, that was a fun little experiment. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. 
All right, so this next suggestion is, what if you had a cube of flex sheets? So like a flex cube, what would actually happen? Not a full cube, not a, not a solid cube. Let's go ahead and get a, a couple of flex sheets small here bearings all along on this side. I can't make the cube too big or my game's just gonna lag horribly. So let's have a, a couple of those ready to go. Uh, then we're gonna need four regular flex sheets small to weld onto this thing. All of these need to have one row removed for blocks. There you go, that way it's the heights that it's supposed to be like that. Okay, now these guys need one side removed for the height, and then two sides removed so that it fits inside there. Oh, I didn't need to put bearings inside. Whoops. There we go, a perfect fit. And here's another one. Oh my gosh, my game is already lagging quite a bit. Mo, mo, moment of truth, there we go. <laughs> uh, all right, this is the Flex Cube, eight by eight by eight. All right, Flex Cube, let's see what happens. Uh, I guess actually, let's just drop it. Let's just drop it from, from the full lift height. Pretty laggy. Pre oh, oh, oh ho. All right, well, unfortunately... <laughs> All right, well, not much seems to be happening. Uh, we do have some bulge on one side, but it seems to be holding together pretty well. And yeah, there's not a whole lot that I can do about this. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This time, we're gonna drop it on top of a lift, see what happens. Oh ho, oh ho, ho ho. No, my cube of jello. Jelly giant tofu cube. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. So it behaves almost exactly like jello. Just very, very laggy in scrap mechanic. So what happens if we remove one of the sides from the cube? This is stupid. All right, so a full on flex cube was pretty interesting, but it was very, very laggy. Uh, so instead, we're gonna try a cube that's hollow, just the outlines of the cube, and we're gonna see how this does as flexible jello. Let's go ahead and just drop it from, uh, maybe, maybe the height of the cube. Approximately the height of the cube, we're just gonna drop the cube. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay, that's definitely a lot floppier than I thought it would be. Definitely way floppier than I thought it would be. You know what, let's uh, maybe turn up the physics. Hmm, okay, maybe turn it up a little bit more. You know, this is actually so few parts that I could probably play on advanced without lagging too much. Let's try. Oh God, it, it's lagging, it's lagging. <laughs> it's, it's lagging pretty bad. Oh, 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 it did it, it did it. Okay, let's bring it back down to maybe simple eight. There we go. Holy moly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four. Okay, four. <laughs> Physics setting four seems to be about the limit for this design of cube. Yeah, any less and it's too loose and anymore it's too laggy. Let's go ahead and drop it again. Drop it the cube outline with physics setting four. This should be a lot more springy. Let's see what happens. Oh, there you go, there you go. That's the jello effect that I was looking for. Oh, heck yeah, uh-oh. It's leaning over. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Critical angle, uh-oh. That was pretty anticlimactic. How are they just rotating? Shouldn't they slow down and stop? How is the tension between these bearings causing a rotation? The amount of discoveries I've made with scrap mechanic physics today. All right, well, let's bring it back down to one. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it back down. Oh, look at that beautiful pattern that it made. 
You can see everyone gets a slice of pizza. All right, on to the next experiment. I think that we can make it work with maybe some super lightweight blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bearing right in the center block there, and then we're gonna put a big old pipe piece. And let's just get, uh, oh, I don't know, some modded electric engine. There we go, so we have tons of speed to work with. Uh, now let's go ahead and test this out on the ground here. Already looking too heavy for the super lightweight blocks. Things are kind of glitching out, but uh, so far so good. Get that connect tool, connect, oh god, which bearing? Which bearing do I connect it? Ah, blah, 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 this one. All right, now we take this, and we weld it on right here, upside down, bam. Let's go ahead and crank it up. And there you go. The center block looks like it's twisting quite a bit, but I think, uh, I think things just sort of evened out. Oh gosh, I forgot, oh my god, I forgot what a spud gunshot does to super lightweight blocks. These are so lightweight. Let's turn it on. <laughs> no, 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 it's good, right? You're good? You're good? Holy moly! Alright, let's give it one more shot for good measure, but then let's try a bigger flex sheet with a new strategy here. Oh, man. Why is this so much fun? You know, one of the suggestions was for me to create a Mobius strip. I think I'm pretty close, but uh, I still don't know how to... I still haven't figured out how to weld one together uh, to create an actual Mobius strip. This is all just... Uh... <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, oh, did I somehow unfold it? Not quite, not quite. And, okay, now, yeah, it's only getting worse. All right, let's try that again, but this time with a large flex sheet. Big flex sheet uh, with a large chunk in the center. I'm gonna save it as a blueprint, modify the blueprint so that it's only the super lightweight blocks. We'll go with seven pipes in the center. Put on our modded engine, and then connect our engine to the bearing, which is much easier to find this time around. Oh boy, so much easier this time. So everything's gonna be balanced on this big chunk right here. Maybe the sheet's gonna have a little bit of better time actually spinning. There we go. So I'm definitely losing a little bit of frames here, uh, but the center chunk seems to be balanced just fine. So let's go ahead and start turning this engine up and see what happens, see what we can get. Ever so slowly, we wanna build up some momentum so that there's no slipping. Corners are lifting up. Heck yeah, that's looking more like the pizza pie that I wanted. Faster. Faster. Faster, I say. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting some, okay, we're getting some slipping. Go back down. <laughs> uh, I think we can only move up when we've reached the max speed for this setting. No, 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 it just, it's completely, okay. Go back down, go back down. All right, this is this is the good setting. This is a good setting for this. <laughs> is this a good setting? I have no idea. All right. So looking at it from the top, what? Okay, any freeze frame of this, the center is not aligned with the rest of the flex sheet. And there's one side of it that's like much worse than the others. But it seems like making the spinning chunk in the center large enough, uh, that seems to be the way to do it. Let's, uh, let, let's, let's, let's jump on, let's jump on. All right. Hey, I can actually stand on the edges. That's pretty cool. So what do you think is gonna happen if I shoot it with a spud gun? Probably a lot of chaos, but you know, let's just go ahead and uh, see, you know, let's just embrace the chaos. Let's just see what hap- I gotta say, that was a lot more controlled than I thought it would be. Wow! Holy moly! And it's still going, it's still just spinning. That's amazing! What? 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 And you don't even need an Italian hand for this one. Wow, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy bonkers. All right, let's go nuts with the spud gun here. Let's try it. I'm trying to mess it up right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. What are you going to do now, huh? 
Wow, it's still, it's still going. I'm actually really impressed with how well, just from changing the size of the chunk in the center block, all of a sudden makes it able to spin. Okay, fold, fold, fold into yourself. Yeah, there you go. Now what are you gonna do? Oh my god, the center is just twisting it more and more. This is, this is just a, a crime against nature. The nature of scrap mechanic right here. All right, now the trick. Can I unfold it? I don't think that it, I, I don't think that I can. I don't think that that's possible. But you know what? We can turn up that engine. My game. Oh my gosh, my game is a slideshow right now. Lightweight block seems to be the way to do it. The spinning sheet. Yeah, I don't think that there's other engines that's really capable of uh, like pulling the sheet along. You know what? There's actually one more thing that we can do for a spinning sheet. Yeah, spawn in another flex sheet. There we go. Very nice with the bearing in the center. That's very convenient for me. And we're gonna take this thruster block and we're gonna put it facing a very specific direction. There you go. Just like that, for each corner. You know, let's just leave it on uh, normal power, I think. You gotta keep in mind that uh, these corners are now like thousands of times the weight of the, the blocks that this sheet is made up of. This is definitely going to affect how this sheet spins, but let's go ahead and put this down on the ground and get it spinning. There's only so big of a sheet that you can work with. There you go. Oh, oh, all those heavy corners, oh no. <laughs> that's, is it even gonna thrust the right way? How, oh my God, it's not gonna thrust the right way. Let's hope that it's enough thruster power and let's hope that the sheet can somehow figure out how it's supposed to be spinning. Uh, you know, maybe let's just turn it on for like a split second. All right, and today I learned that was way too much power. Way too much power. Let's, uh, let's leave it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> we didn't just go fourth dimensional here. We went celestial like 10th dimension. What the heck? All right, stop your nonsense. Come back. Come 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 back home to the center. <laughs> What even is this? Did you see the freaking tortilla? Oh my gosh, what a what a snuggly little shawarma you are. Oh, it's so weird to just like see it disintegrate and it's trying to reform. Do I do I even try? Do I even try lowering this the thrusters? Is that even a thing that's worth doing? They're all down to the lowest power setting. All right, sheet. I know you can do it. Just unfold. That's all you need to do is just unfold. Oh, g oh gosh. Gosh, where do I even shoot to help this? Okay, right here, right here, right here. Bam. There you go. Pop it out the other side. Bam, right here. Yes. Yeah, I'm actually pushing it through. Okay, I have to get um, this side of the sheet on the other side of the pole. There you go. How is this, what, why am, how am I doing like physics one surgery right now? What is happening? Since when did scrap mechanic turn into this? That's, <laughs> oh my God, I'm unfolding the sheet. You've got to be kidding me. I actually did it. Okay, okay, just, just this corner, just, just this corner is twisted. Can we untwist? Or did we just make it worse? You know, I think, oh my God, I think this is all right. Let's try turning on the low power thrusters again. Oh my gosh. It feels like a mistake every single time. It's so twisted, ah! Let's leave on the thrusters for a little bit. I think um, it only gets so much worse. It looks like a weird like single celled organism trying to feast upon whatever's around it. Okay, so just for fun, how about we uh, crank up the thrusters then? All the way this time, all the way to max. These thrusters are pretty powerful, especially for lightweight blocks. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Is that, is that the sound of water? Oh my gosh. I, it, oh, it's smacking against the world borders and everything. So, oh, <laughs> it's just, it's just the block in the center. Let's turn it off and see. What returns? Oh my God, it looks beautiful. Oh, oh, oh man. 
it's pretty good. I kind of like I fully expected this to crash my game or for this to just not be fun anymore. No way, did I get it unfolded? I got it unfolded. I got it unfolded. Yeah, no, it all seems to be on the right side of the pole and everything. Okay, so it's just the heavyweights that are kind of a problem. Um quickly, 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 quickly. We're going to hook up the engine. Okay, we're turning the thrusters all the way down again. All the way down. We want the outside to be nice and flat before we turn on the thrusters. All right, what if I turn on the thrusters just for like a split second? That actually helped a lot to get this thing spinning. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's exactly it. Now we can go ahead and turn on the thrusters. Since all the thrusters are pointing in the relatively correct directions, it should pull apart the flex sheet from the corners. So let's see what happens. Here we go, three, two, one. It's just utter chaos. Complete and utter chaos. How does this even make sense? They were all pointing in the right direction. Oh, gosh, what I'm about to do might completely destroy this world. There we go. There we go. Yes, now with this here. All right, so now with that center point available, I'm gonna use a driver's block. Uh, we're gonna get right on in there and let's connect this to the thrusters and go for a ride. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is definitely going to break this world. How about before I do that, let me try and see if I can actually uh, save this on a lift without crashing my game. By welding. Oh my god, welding? Picking it up with your lift nearly crashes your game, but welding it onto a block that's on your lift is instantaneous. What the heck? <laughs> what is the programming in this game? Game crashing experiment in three, two, one. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, maybe? It kind of looks like a struggling jellyfish more than anything else. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn one from the lift because now uh, I can do that now. There we go. And uh, just before we get started, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, we'll just go to max. Hop in and be prepared to crash my game. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. I, I'm, I'm not touching it anymore. I'm not thrusting anymore. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> wow. Am, am I, how am I not falling down either? Like I'm just magically floating. Let's give it another, let's give it another boost. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> let's see what happens when we land. What? <laughs> what? Hold on, are these blocks like super buoyant and I didn't know? They might be. I I think it is. Alright, let's give it another let's give it another shot. There we go. <sighs> the number of times that I folded it on myself. Oh man. I look like an amazing tortilla right now. What? What? <laughs> I like, you can see the dwarf face in there just... I'm fine. I, I don't need to be saved from this. This is this is what I like to do. I like to bathe in blocks. I like to feel all their corners rubbing up against me. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Whoa there. <laughs> oh, man. Simulating a, a galaxy in Scrap Mechanic. All the masses in the universe come uh, gather towards me, the densest area of the universe. Oh, wait, did I get stuck outside the map? I'm, I'm outside the map now, I think. How can I get back in? What's that down there? Do you see that? That's part of my that's part of my flexible sheet. It's down there. Just stuck. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck above the map right now. 
Okay, okay, okay. We're we're going places we're not supposed to. <laughs> Let's get out of this. Let's get out of this flex sheet. Yeah, just as I thought, we're now outside of the map. All right, clearing all the creations, and I'm stuck outside of my map. I gotta. <laughs> Let's walk back. Walk back towards the center.